the morning after I put these together, these wicking pots, I could see that even though the towel material was generally damp because I dipped them in a bowl of water, the soil had not become moist at all. And so I decided I had to change my approach, part of which would involve soaking, um, you know, watering down the dirt because at this point I've lost a whole day towards germination, which is not what I want. I want things to come up quickly. Then it also occurred to me, though, that all things considered, the water might not want to wick up on its own. So it occurred to me that it would be okay to uh, add a wick to this, which I'm going to do. And um, so this, my hand span is about nine inches, so I'm gonna cut this. So I was thinking overnight, well, how do I get the wick through this? And I was thinking about various things. I was thought about finding some kind of big old needle, maybe like leather workers use. But I went to the fabric store and what I found was, probably don't see if this will focus close, no. But what this is, is a four millimeter crochet hook, cost about $2.25. And crochet hooks have a hook, literally. And so what I thought I would do is just take this hook and punch it. It's going through pretty easy. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. And it's coming through the other side very nicely. So then what I'm going to do is hold the string over it like that. I'm going to put the string in the hook and I'm going to pull it back through. And that's going to be my wick. Okay, so there it's coming through. Okay, so the wick has come through. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to soak the soil and when I put this back in the moisture area I'm just going to put these underneath the pot so they'll pull water up hopefully and keep this whole thing moist until it germinates.